All right, what's up, guys? Hopefully, everybody's having a fantastic, phenomenal Sunday. I know I'm out here in Arizona. It's about um, a little after 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But, guys, before we dive into this, that song I was just playing, it always gets me um, fired up, hyped up. So um, the first thing that I want to cover, because these calls right now, guys, you're on here for a reason, whether you're brand new, okay, you're catching this live right now. We appreciate you. Um, or you're watching the recording, and I just want to kind of preface this. Um, these calls are not only being recorded, being on YouTube, so maybe somebody sharing this with you as a way to kind of see a more insight, in-depth to our team, our culture, and really, you know, some of these guys' stories, the individual I'm going to bring up, you guys, um, his story is absolutely phenomenal, and I'll get into that in just a second. But just know that once you really see this, understand the whole purpose of these calls are to help you better your results, Okay, build your belief and make sure that you are on track for success. So um, you guys saw in the chat earlier today, there's a couple calls. Sunday is full of value. There's a lot of things going on. We try to make sure everything is organized and you understand, you know, the different things that are happening and you plug in um, where it pertains to you. So first things first, guys, this call is a team call. We come together Sundays at this time. Okay, it's more of an intimate call. It's supposed to be fun, um, and you guys will see that. We're going to have a Q&A style in just a second um, with our featured trader. And, guys, if you want to be a featured trader on here, share, you know, your process, your journey, um, you know, and do a Q&A style, please send me a message. Please send the person that um, brought you on to this academy to the platform, and we can get you guys rocking. But I want to I wanna kind of say a, a few things before we bring him up today. Um, I talked about this earlier in the chat, you know, a few things, some misconceptions and uh, myths that, you know, are involved with this industry, you know, trading in the foreign exchange market, trading uh, doesn't even matter what market it is. But guys, you have to understand, I want to kind of debunk some of this for, for just a sec. If you guys bear with me, I promise it's going to bring you some value and really paint the, the long term vision of what we're doing and where we're going. But understand, guys, you know, this skill set of trading in the largest financial markets in the world, um, this skill set is recession proof, in case you didn't know. Okay, no matter what's going on in the world around us, whether the economy is going up or the economy is going down, we now are able to participate in these markets and make money, okay, regardless of what the market is doing. But I want to kind of share something and shed some light to the big picture, okay, the long term vision because I'm guilty of this too. I got started to make money. I was in over a hundred thousand dollars student loan debt. I got started to make money and most people do. That's a valid reason. I understand. But as you start to really develop the skill set and understand what this really is, you start to develop a long-term vision of where this skill set can really take you. And I want to just share this part with you guys, because a lot of the times, you know, we want to make money and that's, that's cool. But you really have to ask yourself, you know, do, am I trying to make a couple hundred bucks? Am I just trying to make money? Or am I actually trying to establish an income for myself? No less a recession proof income and an income that is based around a skill set that's online, a skill set that nobody can take away from you. And I want to paint this picture because this is a skill set that has impacted me and empowered me financially in so many other areas of my life. And I know what it can do for you guys, but so many people lose out on that long-term vision of what this skill set can do for you. And I want to say this last thing, and I'm going to bring up our feature trader. Guys, so many people get started and I, I see them quit within their first 90 days, their first six months, because they're impatient. They're here trying to make money. And I get that. You're going to make money. Trust me. Trust me. But you need to see the long-term vision of what this skill set really is. This is about establishing a long-term income for yourself. What if it took you three to five years to establish a multiple five, six, seven-figure trading account? And why do I say that? Because sometimes it's going to take you that long. I've been doing this, guys, if I haven't really um, introduced myself. My name is Abigail Post, and like I said, I'm out here in Arizona. But I've been doing this for about three and a half years. What if it took you, like me, three and a half years to sustain and develop and establish a five-figure, multiple five-figure, hell, even a six, seven-figure trading account? Is that worth it to you? It is to me because I understand 
the average person, not just in America where I'm at, but all over the world, see less than $1,000 in their bank account at all times. And they're, and they're complaining about five years to actually create an online income, to establish something in business, to establish their investments. But they'd rather work a job for 40 years. That doesn't make any sense. It's whatever you want, guys, but I'm painting the picture right now because that's the biggest question I always get. You know, how quickly can I make my money back? Uh-uh, that is a bad mentality. You need, to, you need to understand what this really is, guys. This is real talk because I want to see every single person win, but your process is your process. And that's what these calls are about. So understand, it may take you three to five years to really establish yourself and build a multiple five, six, seven figure trading account. But who cares? Most people never see $10,000 in their bank account. So what if it takes you three years to get to multiple five, six figures? Stay with it. Be patient, okay? This works if you work. Cool? Cool? We on the same page? So, guys, I'm excited. I needed to have that real talk because this is being recorded, and everybody that watches this, they're going to see the vision and understand what this really is. The foreign exchange market is a very, very powerful market, and this is a very, very powerful skill set, and it has the ability to pay you very seriously if you take it seriously, okay? Don't have an employee mindset. Don't have a small-minded mindset. Okay, see the long term vision with this. So, without further ado, guys, I am super, super excited. Okay, and the person that I'm about to bring up, uh, you guys see him on the camera right now. This individual, um, he has been rocking with me, what's it been about two years, a little over two years now? Um, this guy has been hungry, man, like one of the most consistent and loyal individuals. And I'm not just talking about, you know, what he's done with trading. He's also building the business, but I'm talking about him as a person. Guys, what we do takes consistency. It takes being coachable. This individual is a rock star. He's, you know, he played professional football and he was an individual that was hungry on the field. And I was able to see him come into this skill set, this industry, and have the eye of the tiger, you know, wanting to actually go out and achieve the goals that he set for himself. He's got big goals. I'm not going to go into that. He'll share that for you. Um, but guys, he's somebody that's been rocking with me, been super, super loyal to learning this skill set in our relationship. And I'm just so grateful for you, man. So I'm going to give it up to you um, with our first question, bro. If you just kind of want to share your name, um, where you're from, your origin, and, uh, you know, why are you here, man? Why did you decide to partner up with IM Academy? Okay, awesome, awesome. Well, I definitely got to throw that back to you, Abby, uh, just for having us on this call, you know, bringing everybody together on a, a daily basis, you know, and uh, keeping, keeping the, you know, fire going. Um, but again, uh, as Abby said, my name is Joshua Gordon. Uh, I'm originally from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, I got introduced uh, to trading out here in Arizona. I, I came out here uh, to play football, uh, play professional football for the Arizona Rattlers. So, but um, when I was exposed, uh, you know, everybody has their sit down or presented, uh, you know, when they presented this information, it, it completely blew my mind because, you know, I always knew the power of investing. I mean, it, you know, it's even in the Bible um, where um, when you're giving something, you're, you're, you much is expected. And, you know, when uh, it was given, you know, he gave uh, one talent, three talent, and five talents to the individuals. I don't know what they were exactly called and the one buried it um and when he came back he said why would you bury it you know why would you not increase upon this so when I saw what they were doing and what this company was doing and how they were taking individuals money and how to make it exponential you know it completely blew my mind and you know I was all in you know I, I wasn't I couldn't get all in that moment but I was all in from from uh beginning ever seeing the platform Dope, dude. I like that reference, though. Um, investing is powerful, and that's exactly why we do what we do. Really learn how money works, how to get money to work for us. And honestly, this is a platform that's so much more than just trading. It's really developing skill sets and being financially educated. So, bro, I appreciate you sharing that to kick us off. Uh, we kind of talked about, you know, you've been here for about two years or so, a little over two years. Um, I want to dive into the actual center, the actual platform. Um, since you've been with us, since you've been rocking, um, can you kind of share with the people, you know, what educators have you really stuck with and even the tools that have been the most helpful and maybe why they've been, you know, the most helpful for you? 
Um, well, um, I, I definitely, um, even, even when I, um, so just a little background about me, uh, I got a, de a degree in biomedical sciences, so I always loved learning, I always loved studying. So when I first hopped in, I was, I was all over the place. I was, I was studying a lot of different educators, which, which is great, but they all have their different styles. So some are looking on more of a short term, some are looking on a long term, and I didn't, I didn't understand that at first. So it kind of got a lot of confusion, but um, some of the uh, mentors I really have stuck with for the long run um, are Steven Linder, Stevenson Linzer, and uh, Manny uh, Kiares. I, I don't even know how to how to say his name. Manny Q is <laughs> what he actually goes by most of the time. Uh, he has a really in depth uh, breakdown, um, and even even it's not even strategy, which is what I, I liked about what he was doing so much. He was really just breaking down the charts and going over all the patterns and you know, because you you can apply it to to any strategy. So that's what I really liked about him. Uh, even if you were on long term, short term, he was really just breaking down what the strategies look like. And um, then also, I literally just um, started diving into uh, crypto Picasso. Um, it only made sense to me. Um, I had been kind of hesitant or scared of uh, Bitcoin, but um, you know, when I was uh, reloading my, you know, I notice I'm, I'm reloading my accounts up and I'm putting money in my account and I always have to transfer it to Bitcoin and then transfer it to my, my account. And I'm like, well, hold up. If I'm, if I, if I'm already using it as a medium, then why am I not investing in it and learning more about it? You know, it, it only makes sense to me. So I've really been uh, locking in on the, the crypto side as well, uh, as long as the swipe coin, which is killing it. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's actually cool that you bring that up. If it's cool, I kind of dive into that before for I get sure. to the question. Oh, yeah. For sure. Um, so a lot of people ask us, you know, before they get started, you know, what academy do you recommend? And um, I have the elite, you know, we get access to everything. Um, you made that transition to, you know, now learning about crypto. Do you have, did you upgrade to the elite or did you like do as an add-on? Uh, I didn't get the, no, I didn't uh, get the elite. Um, I did just do the add on, cause, but I didn't. So I kind of like what that has. It doesn't have the uh, the gold package. So I'm, I'm assuming the complete add on will have that. Uh, so I kind of got to look over that again. But uh, yeah, I mean, what, what I uh, did was just kind of upgrade uh, the, the binary option. Cool. Okay. Cool. 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 So yeah, Bitcoin is a is a very uh, pop in place right now. Everybody seems to be a Bitcoin cryptocurrency guru, but we know we got the sauce here. Um, I don't know. You probably know this, but for everybody that's on here, um, Crypto Picasso. Josh just kind of mentioned him. He is one of the main traders for the DCX Academy. If you want to learn about cryptocurrencies, get involved with Bitcoin um, and really understand that market. Crypto Picasso has been trading for almost a decade within the cryptocurrency space, almost since, you know, the birth of cryptocurrency in general. So we have the ability to learn from somebody that has been there, done that, has the experience, the results that we can learn from and really just cut our learning curve in half. So dope, dude. I really appreciate you bringing that up. Um, okay, cool. So let's, uh, let's kind of move into this a little bit more. I know, I know the people are like, all right, I'll be get to like, you know, the good, good questions, you know, the questions that people don't like to talk about, right? So let me ask you about, and be real, bro. I want you to be transparent um, as much mm -hmm. as you feel comfortable, but talk to me about um, demo trading. And I know the last call with Daniela that we had the other week, we went back and forth and had a conversation about it. But a lot of times I'll get people to say, you know, Abby, demo trading, you know, um, you know, they look at it as I'm going to demo trade to win, right? And we obviously know you don't want to demo trade just to win. You want to demo trade to learn. Um, so can you talk about that for, for a little bit on um, your take with your demo trading journey and your process? Yeah, for sure. Definitely start by demo trading. <laughs> you know, I was one of those, you know, people who, you know, I you went through Academy. I flew through it. I learned everything I thought that I had to learn and I jumped in the market and, it went well for a while and then, you know, it turned bad because, you know, it, it, the market never goes in one way forever. And uh, then uh, a part that isn't always talked about, um, which they're uh, adding more uh, the mindset uh, as far as with I am and uh, some of the programs adding Bob Proctor. Um, but so when you get in the real market, you know, your emotions are going to be in it. And um, 
that's the importance of starting with a demo. And um, as Abby was saying, um, when, when you're using the demo, um, it is about, uh, you know, you want to be able to flip your account, but you want to be able to um, take the smart trades and um, basically go over your checklist so that you know when you're getting into a trade. And even if, you know, you're having those emotions, you can get those out and understand like, okay, I was emotional at this time. And that's why I took that trade and, you know, it didn't work out in this way or the other. So you can get all that out the way. So when you're going into, you know, a game or you're going into a real situation with real money, uh, it's, it's muscle memory. You know, you've been there before, you've seen these situations, so you're not panicking and, how, 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 and just making a, a rough decision. You know, it's all click. And then also you're not just checking your, your trade every 10 seconds because you're comfortable, you've been in these situations and you've done it before. So definitely recommend the demo account. Um, I had to learn the hard way. Um, so that's the point of, I'm not saying that I'm your mentor, but uh, learn from the people that have gone before you and made these mistakes. So um, for sure, use the demo account. And, you know, when you go from that, then you'll be, you'll be ready. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Demo is super important. And I think one th good, one good thing that you talked about is like, and I think what we can mention here again is the fact that it doesn't matter because you've been doing this for a while, bro, two years. Um, but we just getting started. We know that. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but being on a demo account, I still go demo. If I'm learning a new strategy and I know that you, you know, you can agree with this too. And you might even do this yourself. It's okay to be on demo. If you're learning a new strategy or if you're tapping into a new market or if you're taking a trade for the first time in a, on a specific pair, who cares if you're demoing? Like a lot of times people are trying to flex, for whatever reason and try to say, nah, nah, like I'm not on the demo, I'm on the live. Well, who cares? It's your journey. I remember a story from somebody who was on their demo account for eight months. And, you know, over the next, you know, six month to eight month period after that, they were able to grow their account, not flip it, grow their account to multiple six figures. So it doesn't matter how long you're on your demo account, stay your course, stay, you know, true to your process. And like Josh said, you know, we're not your mentors. We're just here to give you perspective and just plug into the educators. They're gonna teach you, um, you know, what you need to know and when you need to do it. Yeah, trying to flex will get you in trouble. Okay. Uh, for sure, yeah. for sure. <laughs> I, I definitely, when I, actually, I'm sorry, I wanna interrupt a brief no, story please. on that. I, when I had, I had honestly first got in, got into the business um, and like this was probably within that first week and you know, I was, I was doing really well, you know, I hadn't gone over everything, the demo accountant, um, my brother and all his friends were actually going out to Vegas. So, you know, I, um, you know, I'm out here in Phoenix, just a couple hour drive to Vegas, probably four and a half, five hours, depending on how fast you drive. So I drive out there and it's, it's probably like a Thursday and it's a holiday. So, you know, they're telling you, you don't trade too much on the holidays, but I'm like, it's cool. I got it. You know, I know, I know the process and, you know, they're like, Oh, I'm about to go gambling. I'm like, nah, y'all, y'all gambling. I'm going to show y'all what it's all about. Like, <laughs> And man, we we all walked out of the casino broke, <laughs> but but, <laughs> but that's just not not listen, not sticking to my plan, not staying in my lane. You know, worried about what other people were doing and trying to impress. Um, so that that's all part of the learning steps. But uh, yeah, I thought yeah, trying to flex will definitely get you in trouble. <laughs> facts, bro. Facts. Don't flex on here, guys. It's your money. Nobody even cares if you're making a couple hundred dollars anyways. No. Even a couple thousand, like, cool. Go, like, reinvest that. Go mm -hmm. flip that again. Keep doubling down. Don't do this for anybody but you and your why. Super, super important. Um, Josh, you've had quite the journey so far. Uh, can you kind of tell us why are you still here? Because a lot of people in your situation would have quit, bro. Like, dead serious. Why are you still here? Tell them, for real. Well, I mean, to be honest, like I said, from the first time, when I, when I get stuck on something, I'm, I'm stuck on something. When I see the vision, there's no detouring from that path. So I, I saw the initial vision uh, and, you know, I'm able to, you know, like, like I said, playing football, I was able to pretty much coach myself. Like the coaches would coach me, but I, I was hard on myself. So being translating that into this is the same way. I saw that I was the one making the mistakes. 
and I still see the big picture. And I know there's just a few things that I need to tighten up and <laughs> the sky is the limit in this market. I mean, like you said, you know, I could go and, you know, put my efforts into working, you know, for someone else for the next 40 years, but my mind has been open to something bigger. So there's no way that I personally could go back, um, you know, so it's just about staying that course and staying your grind. And honestly, your belief, um, my belief has been there uh, the entire time. So uh, when you believe in something, you know, I, I truly believe that, that you just have to follow that. You have to go with it, your beliefs. And, uh, you know, I believe when this was first showed to me, um, I was asking God to show me something. And I believe he brought this to me and brought this into my life. And I want to take that further and show it to other people because it brought so much value to my life. Belief. I mean, I, I took away a lot. You guys were saying I was taking notes. Um, but belief, bro, I think we all share that. I don't want to say it. Say, if you remember, what I was sharing with you the other day, what Darwin had told me about belief. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was saying um, that the hardest thing uh, wasn't, for him to make a million dollars, the hardest thing was he was for him to believe he could make a million dollars, and that that hit me when I heard it because we we all know you can be successful in these markets, you can make a lot of money, but do you truly believe you can take your money, you can stack your money, you can stay disciplined in and out, win and trade, win and trade, lose and trade, stack your account day after day until. It, it doesn't matter anymore. And so you can make the decisions because you're already in your routine, you're in your lane. So uh, you definitely got to build that belief up in yourself because if you, know, you don't believe in you, who will? Facts, bro. Can you touch on this? What's the best way that you've seen being a part of what we have um, to increase your belief? You know, a lot of people are like, you know, Abby, I don't, you know, I just don't believe in myself. You know, I don't believe I can actually do this. Well, what, what have you seen to be the best ways to like really build your belief? And not only that, but like build good habits along the way. Undoubtedly, it's, um, you, have to, you have to stay around the team. You have to stay around the people who kept you in and locked you in. I mean, I, I definitely went through this over the two years. And this is why I honestly will always have love for Abby. Because, and I tell her this every time. It seems like when just she just hits me up at the perfect time like I, I don't know what it is just throughout throughout the past two years but you know sometimes I'd stray away from the campfire and you know kind of be down on myself because it's like man I should be making more progress like I've been going to these meetings but I'm still not seeing any progress and you know they probably like why why isn't this kid making any progress but you know I'll randomly get a phone call like hey you know how you doing and it wouldn't even be about this it would just be about anything about life where you been what's up and it would, I would have the calling, like, why, why, why are you so shy? Why have you been so shy to be around the people that want you to be successful? Um, so I, I definitely just, you know, surround yourself with the right people. If the people you have aren't the right people, then you have to step outside your boundaries a little bit. But whatever it is, you just have, whatever it is that you want to do in your life, you have to surround yourself with the people that are going to allow you to get there and the people that have got there so you have the right mentors to learn from and have been in your situation so definitely stay stay by the campfire bro i knew you were gonna give that answer but you elaborated in such like detail bro like are y'all appreciating this call like I, I don't think you guys understand i've been taking notes as josh has been speaking i hope you guys are getting value and honest to god guys at the end of the day i hope this call is relatable for you whether you know you can relate right now or maybe you remember back to this call in 30 days three months a year and you're like wow you know josh is still here because xyz he saw the power of trading he saw the vision of where this could take him and i promise you guys josh is going to be in a position in a year from now where he's going to look back at, it, at this video and be like oh my god that was me so <laughs> it's exciting to be able to do this and watch each other grow um all right cool guys i think we've got like uh, room for a couple more questions. I want to keep these calls about half hour um, just because I do want to respect your time. It's Sunday. I know some of us are on here from, you know, parts of Europe. I appreciate you guys. Um, so let's do this. Let's kind of take a turn because I have all these questions right here, but you've been given really solid answers. So I just kind of been wanting to dive into them um, for the people go a little bit more detail. So let's, uh, let's do this. Um, you kind of touched on it a little bit, but maybe bring a little bit more detail in a couple areas would be really dope. Whatever you feel comfortable, bro. Okay. 
But um, this is a huge question I get. Not a huge question, but I get this a lot from the team, you know, as they, as they actually stay persistent. Because when you, when you quit and you give up, okay, you don't, you don't get to see the fruit of your labor. Um, and I see a lot of people quit too early. They, they quit before they even really got started. Um, and this skill set I know has brought so much, not just financial reward in my life, but so much fulfillment with the relationships I've been able to grow along the way. And I just want you guys to understand, stay the course, be in your process. Don't look left, don't look right. Uh, but Josh, I'd love for you to touch on this. You know, what has been the biggest or maybe some of the biggest mental and emotional challenges that you've had to overcome along your journey or maybe you're experiencing right now? Um, definitely. Um, yeah. Hey, so hold up one second. Sorry about that. Rambo be trying to give some answers on the call today. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. But yeah, I mean, it kind of touched on it. it. Was it was definitely that belief factor. I mean, um, you know, the market it, it goes it goes up or down. So it was just having that confidence uh, in, in your ability to you know take the information that you learned in the classes um, on the go live sessions and apply that to yourself and just truly take that step forward and believe in yourself and and what you what you're here for and the purpose you believe because you know if this is what you see as the vision then then run with it and um for me i, I you know i've always tried to do a lot uh you know a lot of different things but really it was just you know locking in and making the decision you know enough with all the distractions trying to do everything else let me lock in and do this and create this and allow this to open my open the doors up for other things. Don't try to open all the doors at one time. Powerful, bro. Powerful. Okay. Cool. Because a lot of people, I, I've seen people, they come in here and they're trying to do like, you know, five other things. I'm like, bro, you will get, you gotta get good at one thing, and then you can do, you know, other things. Um, <laughs> All right. I appreciate you sharing that with us. So last question, and then I can open it up for closing thoughts. Um, anything maybe I missed that you want to share, but let's take a turn. Cause I know there's people on this call that have asked me about this. And I know there's people that are going to listen to this down the road and they're going to have the same thoughts and the same questions. Um, you've been doing this for about two years. Like we talked about, um, trading is definitely, uh, you know, I'm doing this no matter what it's a lifetime type of thing, a skill set I'll always have. Um, but we also know that the academy itself, the platform, offers more than one ability to create income for ourselves. Not only through the different academies and the different markets, but we also have the ability to create what we call a residual income. And I definitely want to touch on this because there's a lot of stigma around. I'm bringing this up because it's a real call, guys. Like, we don't talk about this. Most people don't talk about this, but. We're about educating people. We're about empowering people. And if you don't want to do this part, that's totally cool. But really understand what this is and what it's about because we're really, really helping people. Um, nobody on this call, nobody a part of this platform would be here if we didn't have this factor. Um, and so the Academy, for those of you guys that don't know, they have the ability to go out and actually help people by sharing the platform with others. And the company, instead of hiring, you know, having like formal advertising, which is twice the cost, half the, or sorry, yeah, twice the cost, half the results, right? Billboards, commercial ads, whatever. Instead of doing that, the company allows the people to go out and share this, which is a lot more effective. Um, somebody told me the other day to read a book and I did it. Like that's the, that's the power of, you know, mouth to mouth word, what's it called? Word to word. I'm totally saying that wrong. Um, person to person um, affiliation. You guys know what I'm trying to say. And that's the power of what we have here. So Josh, I want you to, I just want to kind of give that preference for those that don't know. Um, can you talk about why you decided to go that route? You know, not just learn how to trade and develop the skill and create another stream of income, but really go out and help people with this platform or through this platform. Uh, well, really, uh, once again, I just I just saw the vision. Uh, I saw what the impact was uh, on the information in my life, uh, not only uh, financially, but also just learning, uh, you know, because uh, like I said, it, it, there's a psychology to it. So just learning more about yourself and kind of 
exposing yourself to new thoughts and different theories and, you know, Fibonacci and all this and how it applies, you know, into the real world, um, which is something that is missing in, well, this kind of a tangent, but it's just missing in everyday school. Like we learn facts, 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 facts in school, but they never teach us how to apply any of this for really a lot of good. Um, so just learning uh, in this system and being able to take that and information that I have and apply that directly to the markets and, and make money and uh, the power of that uh, for everyone. Um, Cause me, myself, um, just seeing people that I've known work, you know, minimal jobs just to just to get by, you know, and and work two jobs, three jobs and, you know, just to support their family that they can't, you know, spend time with, you know. So for me, it wouldn't be fair uh, to keep something as powerful as this to myself. And, you know, there are going to be people who, who don't see the vision and, you know, that's not your fault. But um, in the end, we are trying to do something. We are trying to help people. Um, create a better life uh, generationally. So, so that's what I really seen, and that's what I want for my family. Uh, so, I want to provide that, uh, you know, information at the least to others, uh, and let them make a decision. Beautiful, bro. I love that. Cool. So, um, no more questions for me. If you just want to maybe um, share any last closing thoughts, uh, maybe I didn't miss, or maybe I missed, or you want to touch on, go for it. Uh, really just uh, grateful for everyone to be on this call, uh, anyone who watches the recording, um, you know, really just connect, you know, with anyone on this call, Abby, me, or, you know, whoever. I really, really appreciate everyone in this group, everyone that I've met, um, which is one of the, another awesome things about networking. You know, sometimes, you know, you really, pe people just need a conversation and it's not even about the business side of things. It's just about connecting with people and, uh, I've really been able to enjoy doing that, uh, people from all over the world. So I look to continue to do that and uh, really come together as a people, as a team, as a nation, as, you know, humanity. Love it, bro. I appreciate you always. And I know that everybody on this call, I know everybody that watches the recording, um, is definitely going to take away a lot of value. And like he said, you know, whether you're on the squad right now or you're taking a look at this for a second, third time, whatever it may be for a second, third time, get connected. Um, he said perfectly, networking is so powerful and you really never know who you're gonna meet, what you may learn from that person and really where that relationship may take you. So if you're, in, if you're on the team, get connected, build relationships, build up your network, um, learn from other people because the, relationship, the relationships I have through this platform, um, some of my best friends and uh, I know I'll continue to carry out those friendships long you know decades from now so i appreciate everybody on here i'll make sure to upload the recording if you want to share it with somebody that may be on the fence that wants to get involved um whatever it may be share with your team that was that weren't able to be on um stay tuned guys if you're into the chairman mentorship that's going to be on in about 25 minutes after this call ends today at 4 p.m eastern and uh, other than that guys we're gonna have a kick-ass week we have Monday through Friday Zoom webinars. So somebody that wants to see this information, you guys can plug them in to the Zoom calls. We'll be dropping those links in the chat. You can just invite them, get them on, um, and see the information in real time. We'll be going over that, and you guys uh, will be able to help more people if that's what you choose to do. But on that, y'all, peace and love. Have a happy Sunday, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Peace.